it does happen y'all it's just rare okay it's just very very rare sometimes i just want to shave my head again i did that when i was in college and i was drunk so shaving my head during a transitional period of my life that, that just made sense for me to do that because I was dating this guy. I think I talked about him last night, my first boyfriend. We were together for like three years. And I was already an alcoholic long before that relationship was over. But I just used booze to like deal with everything. And the night that I shaved my head, I think, I think we've been broken up for like a week. And I just made like a series of really bad decisions. But I told myself that I was like so empowered. Had absolutely nothing to do with feminism. But I was empowered because I was alone. I was really, really excited to be, in, to be alone, finally. And uh, look at all these amazing people using their turn signals. I don't know anything else about them, but I'm just going to assume that they're amazing human beings. All because they are able to flip a switch when they are supposed to flip a switch. Anyway. I kind of want to chop all my hair off though, but I know that I shouldn't do that. The whole reason I started growing it out is because women are supposed to have long hair. I read that in the Bible. Our hair is our crown. That's why we're supposed to have our heads covered during church. Now I'll be honest with you, I do that sometimes, other times I don't do it. Cause I'm not consistent when it comes to, you know, ways that I dress. Aside from like, you know, wearing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> totally contradict what I just said. No, but I have like all these amazing clothes and I never wear them. Just because I'm not like motivated to do that. <laughs> like this one night I was really high and I made all these outfits. Like I set them up on the hangers and everything and I've barely worn any of them. <laughs> so like how creative I am if I'm not motivated to like actually execute any idea that I have but um I was thinking about how I meow and there's a lot of stuff that pisses me off or annoys me on a regular basis and it's easier for me to meow angrily than it is for me to tell somebody to get the fuck out of my way and I just find that interesting, like how meowing is now my defense mechanism because I don't know how to communicate. But I also just don't want to be that bitch that like has this attitude. So it's like if I can just pretend that I'm a cat, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot less bitchy than just, you know, being a bitch. Cause it's like I'm playing a character and this character allows me to say what I want to say and do what I want to do and be annoyed and be moody or whatever. I just find that interesting. I like meowing is my defense mechanism. I don't think I'm a cat though. I know that a lot of people in this day and age would probably meow because they think that they're a cat. And it would be to the extent that they would like walk around on all fours and, and buy like a pretend cat tail and climb on things and scratch people and bite people and go ape shit over catnip, you know? <laughs> I don't think that we're ever gonna get to that point, but you never do know. You really don't. You never
never do know. <laughs> no, no you don't. Let's add unnecessary words, as everybody else does. Well, you know, it's like they complicate things that are so simple, and simplify things that are really complicated. And I feel like that's the issue with all this identity crap, is that, like, there's no nuance with anything. You know? But when it comes to like character and personality traits and life experience, like all those things, there is so much nuance there. But it's easier for people to just think in stereotypes and have very black or white ideas about the world because that makes their life easier. You know, that, I think that that's why normal ass human beings need like structure and discipline and it's like they respond to pain, they respond to rewards, they respond to punishment. We don't because we're above all that. Like I reward myself better than anybody can, I punish myself better than anybody can. So like, there's nothing in it for me. Like, there's nothing that people can give me that I can't give for myself. And there's nothing that people can take away from me that I can't take away from myself. Well, I guess, I guess that's probably not true. But you know what I mean though, man. <laughs> I like how whenever you say something that's dumb, or you say something that like just doesn't make sense, or like is contradictory, you're like, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> You're so full of shit, Amy. You're so full of shit. See y'all, if you never saw my face and, and you heard the man in my head talking to me, would you assume that there was another dude there in the car? I'm sure you would. I'm sure you would. I know it's just me. Me and me and more me. <laughs> 